Okay, so let's learn about power of a point. This is a very important topic in uh, geometry. We usually learn it in our Math Olympiad program at Chinta and ISI entrance program at Chinta, ISI and CMI entrance program at Chinta. It's in the geometry module. Okay, uh, so what is this topic all about? Suppose you have a circle. Let's call this circle gamma. And suppose you have a point somewhere in the plane. It could be on gamma, of course. Uh, somewhere on the plane, you have this point P. And you want to ask, what is the distance of P from the circle? Now, it's kind of a vague question because P has many distances from many points on the circle. So, you can take several points on the circle and the distance of P from these points will be different. So, how can you precisely define the distance of a point from a circle? Sort of intelligently define it. So, this is how we traditionally do it. We try to draw a tangent from the point P to the to gamma. Of course, if P is inside the circle, that won't be possible. But for the moment, let's suppose it's outside the circle. And suppose this point is T, then PT square, PT square is supposed to tell you how far is the point P from this circle gamma. How far is the point P from the circle gamma? And why does why is PT square such a good candidate to tell you the distance or give you a sense of how far is P from gamma? Well, because if you draw any secant, if you draw any secant from starting from P, so let's say PAB. This is a secant, it's cutting through the circle. Then we can show that Pt square is equals to Pa times Pb. Pa times Pb. So this Pt square is actually a constant, a very strong constant given a point P and given a circle gamma. So, if you draw any other secant, let's say x, y, then p t square is also equals to p x times p y. can do this with any secant. That's the magic. So whenever you do this, this product Px times Py, this much by that much, is always square of the distance from the tangent point. Why is this quantity so nice? Because we can define it for points which are even inside the circle. So if we take a circle again, let's say gamma, and if I take a point P inside the circle, and I draw a chord like this, suppose this is A and this is B, then PA times PB is again a constant for the point P, for this fixed point. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you take any other chord passing through P, let's say x, y, then this will be equal to P, x times P, y. So, this particular product, this seems to be a constant for even points inside the circle or outside the circle. So that's awesome because then we can use this value, this product, 
and say okay this let's suppose this tells us how far is the point p from this particular circle so of course i made a lot of claims i need to prove those claims so the first claim that i made claim 1 is that if i have a circle gamma if i have a circle gamma and if i have a point p outside it then pt square is equals to PA times PB. So here is the claim. PT square is equals to PA times PB. This, this value is known as the power of the point P. Power of P. It's the power of the point P with respect to the circle gamma. Okay. So why is this claim true? Okay, we can prove this we let, let's join okay maybe i can use a different color let's join ta and tb let's join ta and tb now notice that this angle is equal to this one why is that why is this angle equal to that one well we are using something called a tangent tangent chord theorem so we discussed this in a different video and also in our geometry modules all the time it's a very powerful tool what is so i don't i won't explain the that theorem here i'll tell you the statement of the theorem the theorem is this that if you have a point p and if you draw a tangent like this and if there is a chord ta and the angle made by the chord with the tangent so this angle is that is equal to angle made by this chord on the circumference so chord to tangent angle chord to tangent angle is equal to the angle made by the chord on the circumference chord <coughs> angle on circumference so we use this all the time this particular theorem so you should definitely learn this learn how to prove this if you know how to prove this why don't you put a proof in the comment let me see how you prove this theorem okay so this angle is suppose that's alpha then this is alpha now what i'm going to do is i will be comparing the triangles p t a and p t b p t a and p t b i'll be comparing these two triangles and i i want to show that they are similar i want to show that these two triangles are similar so notice that angle p t a is equal to angle p b t so one angle is equal to another angle angle p is common so angle tpa is equal to angle tpb which is the same angle angle p right so if two angles are equal of course the third angle will be equal so the triangles will be similar so if they're similar now we can use proportionality of sides to complete this so opposite to this angle we have pa pa over pt opposite to this one is equal to you have pb so this total angle is here this is equals to pt over pb so you can cross multiply it to get pt square equals to pa times pb pt square equals to pa times pb and we are done so that was the first claim the second claim is that if i have a circle and if i have a point p if i draw two chords like this a b x y then p a times p b is equal to p x times p y 
this one is also quite simple just jo join these two and show that these two triangles are similar this triangle is similar to this one and the reason is very simple you these two angles are equal because they are subtended by the same chord and these two angles are equal because they are vertically opposite angles and the remaining angles will obviously be same so we can now use again the ratio of sides so you have py over pb is equals to p pa over px so if we cross multiply you get px times py equals to pa times pb that was the power of the point p with respect to the circle so we learned how to compute power of a point with respect to a circle and we have proved both the theorems that actually validates the formula uh, we use power of a point in many sort of problems so if you took look at a link in the description you will see there are there is a link to the learn page at chinta where you can see more problems and concepts in geometry and i hope you will, will be able to learn more all the best for today i'll um, see you in the next one take care